In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the keyword extractor within PPCS. And what this tool allows you to do is review and make some decisions on search terms that have resulted in at least one sale. Now you can update your settings in the keyword extractor by clicking the gear icon and in increasing the conversion limit or effectively the number of sales. Now I recommend that you leave it at one so you're really more closely evaluating your converting search terms. So back in the keyword extractor, the first column we're gonna look at is the converting search terms themselves. And then the source keyword, so where these converting search terms are coming from. If we hover over that source keyword, we can see the source campaign, the source ad group, the match type, and the current bid. And that's reflected as much here in the uh, next few columns. And then we have the ability to add the keyword or that converting search term. Now I have already configured a product group target campaign for this product. So that's what makes it so easy to simply just add this converting search term to those previously created campaigns and ad groups. Those are the last two columns you'll see here in this hover state. So if we take a look at that top row for this converting search term, RFID wallets, passport for men, the suggestion is to extract that search term, add it as an exact match type with a $1.58 bid into the existing wallet passport exact campaign in the exact match ad group. Now, why we are arriving at this suggestion is that our current bid of $1.32 and our current performance for this search term at 2% is that there's room for more visibility and for us to garner more sales. And optimally, we want to extract or exact match uh, our converting search terms. That's our really our ultimate goal with our PPC efforts because then we can just focus on optimizing and driving ROI for our exact match keywords. Now, the next few suggestions are really focused on keyword harvesting, really effectively repeating this process because our ultimate goal is again to focus on exact match, driving performance, and driving ROI. So we take a look at that second row. We have a phrase match based on our suggested bid into the existing wallet passport phrase campaign and phrase match ad group. And you'll notice the row right underneath that is that we negative exact this converting search term to ensure there's no duplicates with our exact efforts and it really isolates and aims to harvest keywords for us through the phrase match type. And we really, we apply that same strategy to the last two rows. So we create a broad match type of this converting search term and we negative exact it in that same campaign in that same ad group. And all of this is done for us. All of these suggestions are provided to us. And by clicking this button, we complete all of those steps effectively really uh, striving to achieve two objectives. We are creating and extracting for exact match performance and we're harvesting additional keywords through phrase and broad match types. Very simple and effective way to apply that strategy. Now, if we want more time or to review this further, we can ignore, or excuse me, we could snooze this suggestion or we can ignore it altogether. And of course we can review and evaluate anytime we've done that through the navigation here of um, those that have been snoozed or ignored. Now, the reason again, we, we are seeing this converting search term, uh, it's converted uh, at least one time. It uh, looks like based on the sales, it's converted uh, quite a few times. Now, keep in mind, I am looking at a, a lifetime performance of converting search terms. You can narrow this down to the last 30 days, last 60 days, last 90 days, and so on. And if you want to review uh, beyond uh, some of the initial performance metrics by clicking show data, you can take a look at impressions data, uh, cost per click, click through rate, and so on for each one of these converting search terms. Now, in this example, we already had a product group target campaign configured. So it was just a matter of adding that converting search term to existing campaigns and existing ad groups. What you'll notice is in the next converting search term, we have the same visibility here in terms of the source keyword, source campaign, source ad group, uh, its match type, its current bid. But now we have the ability to create or set a target campaign for this converting search term. So if we click, we can create a new campaign. So let me go ahead and give this a new name. So uh, test target campaign. We're gonna apply the same strategy, same way we were gonna do for adding keywords, where we create an exact match, a phrase match, and a broad match, while also negatively matching in the phrase and broad. So again, we're focusing purely on harvesting uh, more keywords, and the aim is to isolate and create as many exact match uh, opportunities to focus purely on ROI. That's ultimately uh, our goal. And then we have the budgets that we can uh, we can alter here as needed for each one of those match types. So the default being 50, we can increase, decrease that as needed. 
and keeping in mind bids will be based on your target ACOS and performance for that keyword. So that's what's really important in terms of your ad settings. The uh, target ACOS that you configure will really drive performance and uh, the use of other tools within uh, PPCS as well. Now we can source as a negative that converting search term when the ACOS is over our target ACOS. So that's of course recommended, uh, but you can select always sourcing it as a negative or never uh, sourcing it as a negative uh, from its uh, source campaign. Now, instead of creating a new campaign, if you want to use an existing, you can just as easily do that where we take our converting search term and we apply it to a broad group, phrase group, or even if you want to isolate in this step and dropping it into an exact ad group by clicking and searching, we can just as easily add that converting search term um, to an existing campaign. We have the same functionality here of being able to source it as a negative, whether it's the ACOS is over our target, um, or always or never and just as easy as that we can create or use an existing campaign to make the most out of extracting our converting search term. Now a few other things to keep in mind you can filter this data whether you want to evaluate um, let's say certain campaigns first certain converting search terms group some of those together uh, match types if you want to look first at phrase and then broad um, you can use the filtering as needed just to kind of clean up your view and visibility but on an ongoing basis ultimately you want to get to a place where you're really building out your product group target campaigns extracting those keywords with exact match optimizing those exact match and then through your phrase and broad you have just more and more harvesting more and more opportunities that you'll be able to uh, to make the most out of with your uh, your PPC efforts now one of the other cool functions of this is that anytime you have existing product group uh, target campaigns and you have the ability to add keywords just as easy on page you can just simply click bulk apply and every suggestion that's made available to you on the uh, the page or your view, uh, will be applied for you so that bulk apply is a very efficient way to apply suggestions now one thing you'll keep in mind is that i already have selected showing only new opportunity keywords so this really only displays uh, search terms that are not exact match types uh, within your account this is sort of a, a quick audit to see uh, if exact match exists for those converting search terms so it's really uh, really helps with prioritization if you want to complete the step for first and show only new opportunity keywords uh, you can do that if we have that unselected, it essentially just gives us uh, the, the broad, raw uh, data from which to uh, evaluate those converting search terms and make some decisions from there. So this, again, will include phrase, it'll include broad, it will include auto, and it will allow us to make some decisions as we extract keywords, focusing on exact match uh, performance and ongoing optimization, and making the most out of phrase and broad opportunities to harvest keywords based on our performance, based on our PPCS settings, and really leveraging Keyword Extractor to uh, drive performance for our PPC efforts. So I think you're really gonna enjoy Keyword Extractor as it makes finding opportunities and driving your ROI uh, very easy and a very straightforward process.